Hello my planner beauties and welcome back to another plan with me video. So let's just jump into it. This week's plan with me video I'll be using my Be a Mermaid again. <laughs> totally blanked out there. Be my mermaid. Be be a mermaid kit and I thought it would be pretty fitting for the last week of July because it is summer and in August I think we'll be starting to introduce some autumn colors but anyways so this is the kit and it's going to be a white space spread so a little recap from my last plan with me video I've used one of the pages from the new plan with me the new plan with me I can't speak to the new happy planner and I wanted to show you guys that you can still use the happy planner sticker with the new one even though the headers are thinner so that's why you see a mixed match of pages here yet the dates are the same but it's two different pages so that's why I'm just explaining to you the pre-story of why the two pages are different if you missed that video the link is down below I'll list it down below but this week we're gonna do from January, January, oh my gosh, July 25th till July 31st. Let's get started. This week's spread is going to be a little bit different because my design for this kit is actually um, create your own scenery. So the washi tape is actually the sand bed, sand bed of the bottom of the sea. So I'm going to put all my full boxes at the bottom section which I usually put in the middle section, but I'm gonna reverse that and going to do it in the bottom section. Once the ocean scene is done, next I'm gonna work on my sidebar. As you know, my cutter only allows me to cut a certain size, so that's why there's a little blank space at the bottom, but I'm just going to cover that with a checkbox here and put the header importance on top, then layer it with my scallop checkboxes and put a daily habit because I do have to take medication and just want to show you my reminder sticker here that it's actually detailed with shells if the camera could get in focus. So I'm going to line these two pages together. As you can see, it is the same size, same box. It's just the header is thinner on the left side than the right side. So in order for me to correct that, I will have to cover it with some washies. Here I've selected some washi that may go with this spread. I have to still do my um, process of elimination because I won't be using all that washi. And before I could do that, I have to cover up my dates because as you can see, they are mix match. So I'm just going to cover up all the dates up there with my label stickers and also the headers too. Because I decided to put my full boxes in the bottom section, my to-dos will be now in my midsection. And I'm just going to put my to-dos headers down to cover the ones that are already on the pages. Next I'm going to work on the date bar. Now this is where I play around with the washi because you know me, I'm really undecisive on what I like and don't like and sometimes I take a step back to look at it to see if it works or not. So here you will see me changing my washi tapes a few times, pulling it off and putting something on and layering it differently.
Once everything's covered, you can't even tell that they're two different pages from two different happy planners. While I'm working on the date section, might as well put the weekend banner on top. Because everything is covered in the date area, I need something to indicate my days of the week or the numbers of the date. So I found these little stickers in the Erin Condren Fun sticker book, the one with the scallop round stickers and the colors really, really match surprisingly with my color theme. So I'm just gonna use those as my date covers. I like to write in my numbers so I know the dates. Now I am going to work on my today's section and I usually put down my meal plan sticker first but you can see I put down a half box there because on that day is our date night and I made this reservation at a restaurant three months in advance because that's how far they're taking bookings for that restaurant so I just want to make sure that I don't forget to go to that restaurant that day. Usually the top section, I like to make it as a no white space planning. I feel that it's a bit more complete and a bit more decorative up there. That's why I like to do it like a no white space style. So Mondays on the 25th, I have orders to execute and Mondays is always grocery day for our household because on the weekend we just eat through everything. and. I don't really like grocery shopping except going to Costco on the weekends but if you were to go to the grocery store on the weekend it's either overcrowded or the parking's insane so I just like to try to avoid that especially when you have two little ones that's for sure a thing to avoid so Tuesday I'm going to film I think a flip through which I think I've already posted it, the video before this one so if you haven't watched it go check it out it's a flip through of all my spread from December till end of June and on Wednesday I gotta pack some orders and it's also my design day too. Thursday is also my create slash design day and my husband has hockey on that day too. And Fridays are usually my plan with me videos which I like to film because it's really hard for me to do it on Sunday unless I do it as a Sunday night when my little ones are asleep and usually by Sunday night I'm really exhausted and tired of from the weekend so I feel that Friday is a little bit better for me to do my plan with me videos and film them on that day also it's my grocery day that day just to pick up a few things um, here and there for the weekend so once I have my YouTube slash filming covered, my Etsy shop covered on the spread, next I like to go in with my Instagram stickers and just place it on the days which I like to post pictures or just to remind me to post some photos on my Instagram account. As I said before, I do like having my today's section as a no white space. So I'm just going to use my last full box, which is a quilt box, to cover up the top part area. And some washi just to cover the other area on the top. And now for the ink, I've decided to use an aqua green mint color pen to do my inking because I think it really matches with the spread and if I use black I think it's a bit too bold for it so that's why I picked the minty slash aqua color pen And now the fun part. So this is actually create your own scene um, type of kit. So I'm just gonna have fun with this and create my own little bottom of the ocean little scene.
And here you go. I think that this actually turned out pretty well. You can't even tell it's two different spread from two different books because of all the sticker that's covering it and it works very well. It was a little challenging with the date covers but thank goodness I have the Erin Condon stickers and just improvised to use those scallop brown stickers as date covers. So I left the section down at the bottom because you know me, I love quotes. I love having words in my spread too. So I'm just gonna use this Mambi quote book. And can I tell you, this is like the best purchase ever that I got from Mambi because I love this quote book and it's always my go-to quote book to go to. <laughs> but it has everything from any other, like all the colors that matches with your spread or even the words, it's very chic, it's very modern motivated. I just love it. I just love it. It's my for sure go-to book. If you guys want to get stickers from Mambi, I strongly suggest you to get this quote book because you could never go wrong with this quote book, that's for sure. So I found one that matched the color of my spread and in the quote, it's really well fitting too. And plus it's gold foil, you can't go wrong. So I'm just gonna adjust everything here and place the sticker underneath the other sticker because I do want that layering effect. I do want the seaweed and the mermaid to be on top of the sticker. And I think this is complete. Thank you guys for watching. And before I forget, that this weekend is the last weekend to get your September mystery kit because the pre-sale will end on Sunday night and after that it will be delisted from my Etsy shop until I think the next two weeks at full regular price. Once again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much you guys for all your support and kindness and you guys are all amazing. I just love this community and you guys, I, I don't know how else to thank you guys but just to thank you because I do love you and I do love all the love that you guys give me. So thank you for watching and if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Happy planning, bye.